welcome back in this video we will learn how to build different categories of biomolecules and we will also learn how to perform chemistry related activities using these models let's first build a simple optically active amino acid that is alanine uncheck this adjust hydrogen box click on the display panel it will give one carbon click and drag another carbon click and drag another carbon now convert this carbon to carboxyl group then go to the element drop down menu look for oxygen click on this carbon and drag that will create a co bond click and drag another co bond convert this co bond to c double bond o we need to click at the center of this bond c double bond o then select nitrogen from the element drop down menu click on this carbon and drag it will give a cn bond now we need to complete the valency of each atom by hydrogen so check adjust hydrogen click on a hydrogen that will convert this nitrogen to amino group element drop down menu check carbon click on this carbon that will convert this to methyl group click on this carbon so that's now a chiral center four different groups attached to this particular carbon atom select oxygen and then click on this oxygen that will give oh perfect now now before proceeding further let's optimize this molecule let's clean up this molecule take the help of auto optimization tool choose desired force field then that's a organic molecule Molecular force molecular force field will work perfectly click on the start button it will take some time to optimize let's wait for a while then d equal to 0 it has attained a local minima do remember to click the stop button now we have created this amino acid from scratch but for common compound we don't need to do that in avogadro because avogadro has a large pool of chemical compound in its library so go to the build you know in the insert option there is fragment if i click on this a window opens and you can see that there are large number of variety of compounds available click on the amino acid is there sub menu opens top on the list it's d alanine file so if i click on this file alanine will appear in the display panel so let's first close this let's discard this molecule so click on the close button discard the molecule again go to build menu insert fragment and then click on alanine file yes we got alanine in the main window but in the selected form if you want to deselect this either you can take the help of selection tool right click deselect it or you can take the help of select menu and there is option called select none now we'll look for one more feature available in avogadro at present the atom style is ball and stick that's the default but if you go to the display setting you'll find different options for the atom style right now you can see that ball and stick boxes in the check mode so if i uncheck this and click on the simple wire frame so now we have alanine that's the carbon amino group methyl group sorry this is hydrogen then you have the methyl group and then the carboxyl group so if i look for stick model click on the stick atom style again you can see that let's rotate this molecule we have a carbon then a hydrogen ch3 amino group and the carboxyl group 
another option for atom style is van der Waals spheres. So we have got different atom styles available in Avogadro, but by default, and that's the best one, that's the ball and stick. So if I click on the ball and stick, uncheck the simple wireframe stick, van der Waals, you go back to the default mode, and that is ball and stick model. Now, since this has an optically active center, so this will be in a particular configuration, R or S. Can we check that? So rotate this molecule, put hydrogen away from yourself, assign the priority number. A minor will get priority number one, carboxylic will get priority number two, methyl priority number three. So when you move from priority one to two to three, right now it is in the clockwise direction. So this particular configuration amino acid alanine in this particular configuration is in the R form. Now, Avogadro has a feature to invert the chirality of this molecule. So go to build menu, there's an option called invert chirality. If I click on this, something happens. Now let's check whether it has got converted from R or to S or not. Again, rotate the molecule. So, Hydrogen is away from us. And now move from priority one to two to three, amino to carboxylic to methyl. Yes, that's in the anti clockwise fashion. So, this particular configuration is S configuration. So, Avogadro has an invert chirality plugin available in it. So, we can do stereochemistry also with Avogadro. So, if you want to model a desired optically active compound, in a particular configuration that you can draw it in Avogadro. Okay, let's do another activity. Right now, the amino acid is in the neutral state, uncharged state. Now, what will the effect of change in pH? So in the build menu, there's an option called add hydrogen for pH. If I click on this, a window will appear. Right now, the default pH is 7.4. If I change the pH to 7 and click on the OK button, something happened. The carboxylic group got converted to carboxylate ion, a minor group to amine. So this is in the Jeter ionic form. Now, can you guess what will happen if I make this, make the pH highly acidic, less than 7? Obviously, this carboxylate ion will get protonated to convert to carboxylic group, and the net charge on the molecule will remain positive. So that will that means the minus will convert to cationic form. The cationic form will convert to the cationic form. Let's see that if Avogadro is capable of doing that or not. Go to build menu, add hydrogen for pH. Now change the pH from 7.4 to 2. So 7 to 2. Click on the OK button. Yes. The carboxylate ion now is in the form of COH, carboxylic group. So the net charge on this alanine molecule is positive. So in highly acidic medium, alanine exists in the cationic form. Obviously, the guess will be in the, in the alkaline medium, this will exist in anionic form. Let's see that. Go to build. Again, click on add hydrogen for pH. Same box appear. And now change the pH to 10. Okay. Yes. This has become amino. And this is now carboxylate. So both COH and NS3 positive hydrogen were deprotonated. And now this molecule is in the anionic form. Now within carbohydrates category, let's build a simple monosaccharide ring structure of glucose. So take the help of draw tool. From the element drop-down menu, select carbon. 
and let's first create a cyclohexane molecule. So click and drag, click and drag, keep on repeating till we get a six member ring. Done. Now replace one of the carbon by oxygen. So in the element drop down menu, look for oxygen. Click on this carbon. Now this is a six membered ring with one oxygen atom. Now before proceeding further, let's optimize this structure using auto optimization tool. Already the desired force field is in the selected mode. Click on the start button. It will take some sec few seconds to optimize. Let's wait for a while. Done. D equal to zero. It has attained a local minima, but do remember to click the stop button. Now, using navigation tool, rotate this molecule to check whether it has attained a chair conformation or not. Yeah, it seems it has attained a chair conformation. Now, each carbon has axial and equatorial position. Now, in a glucose, one of the carbon adjacent to oxygen has a CH2OH group at the equatorial position. So take the help of draw tool. From the element drop down menu, look for carbon. Rotate this molecule to get a better view. Click on the equatorial hydrogen, you'll get a methyl group. But yes, before that, check draw tool. Click on this, we'll get a methyl, and then replace one of the hydrogen by OH. Element drop down menu. Again, look for oxygen. Click on this. Now we need to put one OH on each carbon atom, remaining carbon atoms, at the equatorial position. If we want to create beta glucose, let's do that. So that's the equatorial position on this carbon. That's the equatorial position. Okay, let's get a better view by rotating this. So that's the equatorial position here. So take the help of draw tool, put on this. Again, rotate this molecule. So that's the equatorial position. Take the help of draw tool, put on this. Now you are left with carbon one. Now, whether you want alpha glucose enomer or beta glucose enomer, your choice will be where to put OH on this particular carbon atom, carbon one. So if you put OH on the, at the equatorial position, that will result into beta glucose. But if I want to convert this into alpha glucose, I have to interchange these two Position. How to do that? Right click will delete oxygen. It will get replaced by hydrogen because already adjust hydrogen's box is in the check mode. And then, since oxygen is in the selected mode, click on this. So we are done. Now, before proceeding further, again, clean up this molecule, use the auto optimization tool. The desired force field is there. Click the start button. So you can see that the bonds are the rotating. Something happening there. Continuous change in energy until unless it becomes d equal to zero. Keep on moving. So wait for a while since the atoms are larger in number. So it will take some time. So optimization done, D equal to zero. Do remember to click the stop button. Use navigation tool to rotate the molecule to get a proper view. Yes, still you have chair conformation. The OH on carbon two, equatorial OH on carbon three, equatorial OH on carbon four, equatorial, then CH2OH on the carbon five, equatorial and OH on carbon one at axial, so alpha glucose. Now let's try to do one small activity. Let's, let's try to mimic 
an aqueous solution of glucose. So to do, do that, let's put some explicit water molecules around this particular glucose molecule. So take the help of draw tool, already oxygen in the selected mode, click, we'll get one water. So randomly click around what glucose molecule to have some explicit water molecules surrounding it. Now we want to see whether it forms intermolecular bond or not. Click on the hydrogen bond box in the display setting. Already few hydrogen bonds are there. The dotted line is intermolecular hydrogen bond because they are in the close proximity. Now let's optimize this. But before optimizing, since already we have optimized the glucose molecule, so let's constrain this molecule. So now we'll learn an additional feature available in Avogadro. Take the help of first selection tool. And then in the drop down menu of the selection mode, click on the molecule and simply clicking on one of the atom of glucose will select the complete glucose molecule. Now, how to constrain the atoms of glucose? We don't want to, we don't allow, don't want to allow the atoms to move during the optimization. You can do that. By taking the help of extension menu, there's an option called molecular mechanics. Look for an option called fixed selected atom. If I click on this, this will constrain the atoms of the glucose molecule. And now, auto optimize this. Take the help of auto optimization tool. Already we have a desired force field. Merck molecular force field is capable of accounting the hydrogen bond and then click on the start button. Now it will take some time because we have large number of molecules. So wait for a while. You can see that water molecules are moving, trying to form hydrogen bonds there, trying to attain a local energy minima. So wait for a while. So done. D equal to zero since glucose has 24 atoms. In, what, in, its, in, in it. So number of constraint is 24. So many intermolecular hydrogen bonds between two water molecules, water molecule forming intermolecular hydrogen bond with the glucose as well as with water. So do remember to click the stop button. Now, we saw that even using the parameterized molecular mechanics force field, Avogadro is capable of performing fair amount of chemistry. No doubt this will get refined further if we involve quantum mechanics in our study. So in this video, we saw how to build simple biomolecules. We'll take the complex one in the next video. Till then, thank you so much.